A proof wouldn't merely suggest that a god exists, it would denote a god's existence. That is, if existence could ever be mathematically proven. It's debated as to whether it's mathematically sound. Feeding it into a computer can demonstrate whether it is valid, and I suspect Gödel's argument is valid. The conclusion probably follows if you accept the premises. But in order for it to be sound, the axioms it uses as premises have to be true, and those premises are highly debatable. What this video doesn't tell you is that the same scientists it cites, Benz Müller and Volzen Logel Paleo, also demonstrated that certain conclusions, specifically modal collapse, which are largely considered absurd, necessarily follow from Gödel's axioms. Axioms. They also demonstrated that the axioms in Gödel's original formulation of the argument are mutually inconsistent. Gödel's definition of a god is also questionable. Even if the argument proved that what it calls a god exists, it isn't the kind of thing that I think most people would bow down to worship or identify with the being described by the Bible. And the problem that I have with all ontological arguments is that I don't see how they can prove the existence of anything. To say that something exists is to say that it is more than merely fictional. It is more than merely a concept. However, all ontological arguments attempt to demonstrate a priori that something exists. In other words, it tries to prove that something is more than a mere concept using nothing but mere concepts. How the fuck do you do that exactly? I don't know if you've heard, but I do have a Patreon.